Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you five different digital products you can sell on Etsy right now that can make you some serious money. So what I love about selling digital products are the couple of main reasons. Um, first one is it's very low maintenance, right? You just create something um, and then it can just sell forever, right? And you never run out of stock because it's a digital product. You don't have to ship anything. Everything's instant and for your customers too, it's it's very beneficial for them too because they come into a store, they can buy a listing and have it downloaded, printed right away. And it's more affordable because they're not paying for shipping. They can just go to a local shop and get something printed. So it's kind of like a win-win for both, both parties, right? So, you know, if you're thinking about selling products, I really recommend trying to think of some digital products. And also it's passive income. You, it's very, you don't do anything afterwards. Um, so that's something that I really recommend. You know, let's start it off right now. As you can see, this is actually my shop. The first digital download product you can sell are printable wall arts. And um, so that's a niche that I I do. And uh, I can share with you other people that are doing really well in this niche as well. So you would search printable, printable wall art. Okay, so now I can just have an idea of what people like in this niche, right? And um, you kind of just see, you know, which ones is, is your style um, and you get inspirations. And I don't mean you want to like go copy people and stuff, but you want to just model them and see how they're doing it. And you can get a general idea. So if you're into graphic design, if you're like illustrating, there's a lot of different styles they can do. And I think really niching yourself down into a certain style aesthetic will be very beneficial to you. And um, just because this market is very saturated and if you try to hit everything, it might not work as well for you. So you do want to pick a certain aesthetic and kind of stay with it. So, you know, we can look at say wall art or um, and here, if you just search, let's say it's another tip. If you just search a certain keyword phrase, you can go down and see what are the most popular um, searches that people do that are related to what you typed in, right? So, you know, you can go to set of three, let's say, you know, if you're into doing some sets of, of art, then, you know, you can get another idea and look at the best sellers here, right? So these are really, really beautiful stuff. Okay, so here's one of mine, um, but other ones are doing super well as well. Uh, and you kind of just go down and just have a general idea and see what you can do. And, um, yeah, like I said again, this niche is doing really well. Uh, and if you like creating art, and I definitely think you should uh, look into it. Um, okay, here's another one by me, but this is from my other shop where I do print on demand. So if you have questions about print on demand and selling physical products, you can ask me as well. Okay, so yeah, if you have more questions on how to do printable art, which is the niche that I specialize in, um, I can help you figure out how to create your listings, how to do your mockups, and all these questions, I'll create more videos in the future on, on more specific things. So, you know, comment in, in the section below and let me know uh, what kind of questions you have. And I'll see what I can do to help you out for you to start your own uh, printable wall art shop. So the second digital product I want to share with you are, let's see, wedding, Or wedding printables, wedding templates, but this niche is a very popular one as well. Uh, as you can tell, you can search through here and see all the best sellers. And you know, there's like you can do the wedding invitations, you can do the table numbers, and all these things are really in demand. You know, some might say it's kind of seasonal, but depending on where you live, there's always gonna be a time where people do get married and that are into this, right? And a lot of these designs you know, I think, and actually in my experience, you can make them all on Canva or certain template sites if you're not that familiar with um, design programs. So there are a lot of like different sites out there that let you design these very easily. And then when the customer comes to buy your listings, they can just edit it themselves, or maybe they can pay you more and you can do the actual editing for them. But, you know, my goal here is to show you ideas on to create a truly passive income. Uh, and yeah, trying to avoid to sell listings where you have to edit things is, is a better way. So you want to send them maybe, maybe people sell these in Word files. 
and then they can, because everyone has Word, and they can click into it and just type in their own names, uh, their own table numbers, and stuff like that. So something to think about. So yeah, like I said, this this needs you doing well. So a third digital product I want to share with you is resume resume template. And this niche is actually like just unreal how much demand there are and how little competition there are. And um, a lot of these ones, like I said before, you can create them on Word and it's very simple. You can use Canva, other um, template sites to create these and create your own spin to it, sell it back onto Etsy as your own and let people just edit it, right? So let's go to Marmalade and let's search, um, let's see. So this is a map where you can use to search keywords and figure out the demand and the data behind uh, how, how much demand is it. So let's go resume templates. So if you see, when you look through there, you wanna make sure everything is green. It shows you how much search volume there are, the engagement, people are going into it and like buying it uh, and how much competition there are. So um, if you see something that has all green, then that's a really good keyword to use. And it's something to consider when you're, when you're looking through uh, what to sell on Etsy in terms of for digital products, right? So right here, resume template, all green, perfect, right? So we can add that in. And what, every time you add in something new to your bucket, they'll generate new keywords that are relevant to it that you can use. Resume template for Word, right? Like I said before, people like to use, um, have the templates created on Word because that's something that everyone has and they, for them to easily edit them for themselves. Maybe even teach your resume, right? You can add those. Like, let's look at these. Resume template. Like this is actually unreal. You, you see, you have so much engagement, more so than the competition, only 16,000 competition. This is really low. This is a really good keyword to use. You know, um, even teacher resume, like it's so good. I think, like, I think actually out of all the ones I'm gonna explain to you, uh, if, you're, if you're into making resume templates, then this would be the one to do it. Just because of how many different keywords there are that are green, right? Crazy, blogger template, nurse resume. You can get very niche. Like these, no, these numbers are lower. But imagine if everyone, all these numbers here, come to you and buy your listing, right? That's still really good. So, that strategy is just to niche down. It's always good too. You don't want to try hitting the really popular ones because you know there's gonna be a lot of competition. So maybe you want to come in here and create one that's just for, for nurse, right? Uh, for nurses and stuff. So um cv cover letters right cover letter templates uh also within this niche which is really big so if you're starting out a store for that then that's something that you can do as well um yeah you can go down modern resumes executive like you know all these ones can be beneficial to you it's funny because as i'm searching through here this actually does bring me to my next um digital product idea for you which are planners as you can as you can already see, uh, printable planners are another huge one. So I guess this, yeah, this is tip number four um, for digital products, academic planners. So we may as well just carry on now transitioning to the fourth one, budget planners, right? Uh, 2018 planners, but you can just change that to 2021 planners and printer printables, right? Student planner, wedding planner. So I guess this is a, I'm not sure that's for real person or digital, but maybe it is. I'll look into that. Um, fitness planner, right? So these are really good ones to get into because you can see that it's all green. And um, good notes planner, right? So Marmalade is a great platform to use if you want to search different keywords of what you want to try selling. Mood tracker, right? It's funny, as I'm looking through these, I'm finding so many that are like really good that I didn't even think existed, right? Because it's hard to know exactly all the different things that people buy that are digital online. And right now I'm only sharing with you five, um, but I want to share with you more in the future, right? But sometimes you just don't even know what exists until you find it. And it's funny, like, as I was looking through this, right, I see people selling um, 
templates for Twitch designs, right? So the people who do live stream, they want like a nice little template for the webcam. And these are things I never really even thought about that exist that you can sell. So I guess that's like, it's not my fifth one on the list, but that's just an example of different digital um, templates and designs that you can sell. So my last idea for you to do digital products are presets, specifically like um, Lightroom presets. Right now I search presets, but okay. Presets are a huge, huge one. And a lot of new shop sellers right now are coming in and just killing it in this niche. And because it's something that I think a lot of millennials or Gen Z's are really into now and they understand buying, they understand what it's like to buy digital products. And for them it's totally okay, right? So this is a niche that, you know, let's go Cisco. This is a niche that would do really well. Um, and right now, okay, I'm on Marmalade, but let's go back to, let's go back to SC. Lightroom presets. Yeah. So you can see so many people are doing really well there. So many sales, 4,000 sales. Actually, no, this is, that was reviews. This is 80, 80,000 sales. And these are just digital products. You know, if you if you understand what is, how to use Lightroom um, and how to create these presets, then I think this is a really good one to get into. And let's take a look when they started their shop, 2018. I mean, that's only like two and a bit years ago. And look at how many sales they got. It's crazy, right? And now, okay, let's see, we found out a niche that is working, right? People are making a lot of money from it. But let's see the demand. Let's go back to Marmalade. Let's search it again. Uh, let's see what the keywords they're using. What are the main ones? Presets? Lightroom? Let's just search Lightroom. Let's see what we get. Lightroom. Okay, let's start uh, getting Marmalade to work its magic on finding us better keywords. Um, preset Lightroom. Yeah, let's click on all of them see okay let's go presets so maybe that's something that you want to do blogger presets i'm guessing this is maybe it's for the visual presets um we'll have to look into that one <laughs> back to cv templates it's funny these things kind of pop up winter presets so maybe this is still for lightroom for edits photo editing ones um <laughs> it's funny it goes back to printable wall art planners, just all the ones I, I uh, talked about earlier. And um, yeah, so this is a great app to use if you wanna find different keywords that can that can work in your niche. And um, so yeah, hopefully this helped. These are just five different ideas. There's lots more that I will create in the future for you. Um, and if you enjoyed this, give it a like, you know, leave a comment below if you have any questions and please subscribe because uh, I'm starting out right now, but. I want to start bringing value to you guys because I've been been on Etsy for five plus years now and, and it's what I do as a, for a living. And now I want to transition and see what I can do to help people out, help new shop sellers um, like yourself, if you're new or even if you're experienced, like uh, I think I can bring value to you guys. So thank you for watching.